Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC. I'm back with a new video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay featuring an all diamond squad in NBA 2K19 My Team. So, yeah, quickly, if you guys could just drop a quick like on the video, that would be awesome. You know, we're trying to hit the 100 likes, triple likes every single video. And shout out to my homie Beach because this is his team. Second, so hop on, record a gameplay with his full diamond squad. We'll have his Twitter link down below in the description. So, without any further ado, Let's get into the squad right here. At the point guard, we have a diamond Charlie Scott. He is like a Penny Hardaway, but in NBA 2K19, you know. But yeah, he's a pure beast. He's just an all-around walking bucket. Pedro Stoyakovic, a pure sharpshooter, you know. Catch and shoot wide open. It's, it's automatic. It's going in. Diamond Carmelo Anthony at the three. He doesn't really need an introduction. He is the best diamond in the game. Diamond Jerry Lucas at the power forward. At the four, he is the first collection reward player that you get for completing a collection. He is a diamond Jerry Lucas at the power forward. And at the five, we have a diamond Marcus Cambia. Off the bench at the point guard, we have a diamond Baron Davis. He doesn't really need an introduction either. Like these guys are just pure walking buckets. Baron Davis just can do everything. At the shooting guard, we're gonna go with the Paul Westfall. He's probably like a knockdown sharpshooter. I haven't used this card yet. And I believe he can't speed boost, which is good. Yeah, 86 ball control, he can speed boost, which is good. I haven't used this Paul Westfall yet. I'm excited to use him. I heard he's a beast. At the small forward, we're going with the Supermax reward. Hold up. This isn't Supermax. This isn't 2K18. At the small forward, we're going with the Michael Finley. He is the unlimited player of the month reward. At the small, at the power forward, we're going to go with a Rashard Lewis Diamond. Pure sharpshooter. He's a beast as well. A 93 open three. Great badges. Pure beast. And Willis Reed Diamond at the center position. He's a walking bucket. He is 6'9", but he doesn't play like he's 6'9". He plays like he's tall in 6'9", but yeah. He is the center that we're going to rock out with off the bench. And yeah, you see these three bronze players. I'm only going to use these 10 diamond players. You know, it's just going to be a full squad of 10 diamond players because I'm not going to rotate those three bronze players in. They're just there for filler cards. So I'm excited to get into a game with this squad, so let's hop into one. Let's start off this game right. Actually, we're just going to start off with the max mid-range. I want to start off with three. I wanted to go in. I want to start off with the bang, but the mid-range is open. I'm going to take it. We strike first. And when it comes to the defense this game, I'm honestly just going to go man because I'm still experimenting new defensive settings for you guys because I want to make sure I'm getting the best settings out to you guys. So we're going to try our man this game and experiment those settings. All right, let's go, Paige. This is three on one right now. We're going to actually gonna take another mid ranger right here by Carmelo Anthony. Missed the release. Marcus Cammy is on the four, getting the and one. That's what I'm talking about. He cleaned up Carmelo Anthony's miss. Now we're going to knock down the free throw as well, giving us a 5 0 lead. Oh, wait, a fight over that screen. Charlie Scott, let's go. Charlie Scott to Melo for the slam on a fast break. That's, I mean, like I said, I'm, like I said, I'm experimenting with new defenses, new defensive settings, and that's one of the defenses I was experimenting with is going over those screens and playing tight on the off ball. But yeah, I'm not really going to talk too much about the settings. I'm just going to release a video of that later. And we get another steal. Let's go, Charlie Scott to Peja. And we nearly threw the turnover. Let's actually reset right here. Let's get a good possession right here. Let's run a pick and fade with Melo and Marcus Kevin. Melo's attacking a paint strong. Nice layup. Beautiful adjustment. Melo getting the layup. And we have a 9-0 lead. He missed that. That's a bad miss right there. We're giving it to Charlie Scott out to Pager. And no one's stepping up. That's going to be a stop and pop for Pager. He gets a green light on the wing. He knocks down the three, giving us a 12-0 lead. And my opponent has not scored yet. And we're we're approaching the end of the first quarter right now. Excellent stand. F hedge the help. Fade. Act like you're going to help. And then rotate back. Oh, excellent defense right there. Let's go. Good ready to get the real man. Melo's out and running. Stop and pop Melo for the nice mid-range jump shot. As he gets. Oh, he doesn't get it. Come on, we gotta knock those down. Actually, Marcus Cammy now is wide open for mid-range jump shot, and he knocks it down, 14-0 lead. And just like that, he's on the board, but let's see if we can counter back. Oh, nice crossover move. Charlie Scott fading mid-range, green light, and he switches it on the wing. Just like that, Charlie Scott has his takeover badge. Whenever I'm playing a game and somebody activates their takeover badge, I have to go to them. You know, it's only right. Now the paint's wide open. Oh, he got tossed though by Hakeem. This isn't 2K18 where you could just go into the paint with anybody and get like a contact dunk slam as we get a block right there. Get that junk out of here. Paige just said, this is my house. Oh, nice, nice screen by Lucas and Charlie Scott's going all the way with the slam. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, he's doing a little bit of extra. He's doing a little bit of extra hanging on the rim. Loki should be a tech, but we got away with it. 2K literally just blessed my opponent right there. No way in the world was my opponent shooting that ball. Let's go. Let's go, Baron Davis. The paint's wide open. Actually, now Rashard Lewis open in the corner. Catch and shoot. He gets the green line. He's open on the wing. Way to knock that down, Rashard Lewis. That's what I'm talking about. Getting our lead back to, getting our lead back up to double digits. 
Excellent defense, excellent rebound. Now we're out running. I see Baron Davis on the right wing. He's too fast for everybody. He's hacking the paint, swing the ball around to Michael Finley. He's wide open, catch and shoot. In and out, one more to Paul Westfall on the wing. He hits a green light, wide open. 14 point second quarter lead. The second quarter just beginning, but I'm just get beginning to get hype as well. And as, oh, grab it, let's go. And as you know, when I get hype, it is extremely hard to beat me. Let's go to work. Michael Finley attacking middle, nice spin move all the way. Nearly got the N1 to go, but we got the foul. Let's knock down these two free throws right here. This is easy money for these diamond cards. These diamond cards should not miss any free throws as we do knock down the first right there. Let's knock down the second one as well. D we do. 16 point lead. Let's keep it up. My opponent needs a timeout. Oh, Baron Davis is wide open. My opponent fell asleep and he gets a green light, but that is a mid-range. He stepped in. The points are points. I'm very I'm still satisfied with that make. If you if you shoot it and it goes in, I'm not complaining at all, no matter how much points it is, because points are points. Now that's actually a beautiful crossover on the wing right there. He got me, but like I said, it's fast paced, seven second offense. We gotta push the pace, and now Westfall's open on the wing. Got Curry jumping in the air. One more to Willis Reed, swinging it around to the corner, and that is Michael Finley wide open, catching two, and he puts it in in the corner for the three. Send me a solid one, Willis Reed. There we go. Excellent screen spin move. Oh my goodness. What a move by Baron Davis. He just blended. He just blended. He just put Jimmy Butler and Hakeem Olajuwon in a blender right Go so good work, good defense, good rebound. Fade to the corner, Westfall. Fade to the corner. I want you to. Okay, we actually did get Hakeem jumping, fading, post fade. Since difficult shots is so overpowered, we took a fading mid range right there, and we nearly have a 20 point first half lead. And we get the steal right there. After this score, we're going to score right here. Let's go to work. Paul Westfall, going to give it back to him on the wing, and he has an open mid range. I'm going to take it. Oh, actually, he's lightly contested. Good rebound, great defense, and let's go. Who's that running behind me? Westfall to Baron Davis in the corner. Paul Westfall is now wide open on the wing. Got Curry jumping. Easy mid-range right here. In and out. One more to Baron Davis. So actually cross cross that pass. Cross the pass in the corner. Cross it. Cross it to Finley. Carl Anthony Towns fell asleep, and Michael Finley knocks it down in the corner. That's what I'm talking about. 22-point first half lead. And we get a steal. We're not done yet. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and play. I'm gonna try and play a little bit of fun right here. He knocks this down. Oh, Otto got so happy he knocked it down. But I did read that pass, and this is gonna be another easy mid range as Rashard Lewis swishes it. But I definitely need to get Carmelo Anthony more involved in this game as we're gonna attack it based on on LeBron James. Oh, nice. Okay, I don't know what that was, but that was I guess a beautiful shot. He got like a half spin in the post, and then. Did like a, not really post took, but like a post fade away with the left, and he made it. Pony need a timeout, we're up 24. We're going back and forth in this third quarter, so I, it's only right I gotta keep my foot on this gas pedal right now, you know. Is Melo is in the corner, oh, got LeBron jumping, we're going all the way, contact slam over LeBron James. Melo just took all the contact, absorbed it, and slammed it over LeBron, and his big man Hakeem and Carlton Towns were in the pain. We pretty much slammed, he, we pretty much slammed over his three big men. Like I said, it's time we put in some work with Melo because I have barely used him since the first quarter. And we're gonna we're gonna actually climb by LeBron right here. We need a back to him on the windows, attacking middle. Okay, we don't have anything there. Let's give it to Jerry Lucas and he's somewhat open on the block. He knocks it down. Don't really know what that was. He my phone had a really good third quarter up until that point. Let's see if we can get our own lob. Oh, okay. He's fouling us though. It's gonna give me two easy free throws. Two more points on the board for us heading into the fourth quarter. We knocked down the first right there, and Baron Davis is probably gonna make the second. Indeed he does. We have a, we're gonna have probably have a 19 point lead heading into the fourth quarter. My opponent fell asleep. Baron Davis is wide open in the corner, catch and shoot. He makes the three pointer. 21 point, 21 point lead for us heading into the fourth. Okay, now I'm probably getting into 25 as we have an open mid range. Oh, in and out, one more. Who's that? In the, who's that? Michael Finley for a nice mid range jump shot right here. We knock it down, and that's just that's just GG because there's no way my opponent's coming back from 25 points. I'm just going to be a little bit conservative and show some respect because my opponent played a great one and I'm not trying to run up the lead that much. I, didn't, I don't want to run up the lead, but if I get a highlight play, I'm definitely going to take it. We have a clear lane to the bucket with Willis Reed. In and out for the layup. Rashard Lewis wide open for three right here. Catch and shoot. Wide open and we put it in. And we get a steal with Westfall. Let's go, Baron Davis. Give it to Baron Davis. self lob to himself. I don't know what that was, what type of self lob that was, but... It went in. All right, so we do win by over 30 points in the end. My opponent played a great one. We're gonna get into the game stats. 
On to the boss school right here, Baron Davis and Michael Finley each led the team with 16 points. Richard Lewis finished with 13, Carlo Anthony finished with 10, Paul Westphal finished with 8, Charlie Scott with 6 points, Pedro with 5, Marcus Camby with 5, Jerry Lucas with 2, Willis Reed did not score, and of course the three bronze players did not play. So in this video, I did a gameplay with the full Diamond Squad in the NBA 2K19, my team. I had a lot of fun. With that being said, I want to give another shout out to my homie B-Street for letting me hop onto his squad recording gameplay because I don't have a full Diamond Squad yet. I'm still working on it, but... Be sure so I can hop on use his team. So yeah, big time shout out to Be Street. We'll have a Twitter link in the description. So yeah, I did also test the man defense in this video, and I did like the settings. But yeah, I'm gonna do a couple more experiments with those settings and release those to you guys pretty soon. Cause a lot of you guys want to see the man, and I'm probably gonna mix it up and put a man. Then I'll probably go back to the two three. But yeah, probably man defensive settings. It's coming in the next few days. Be on the lookout for that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and it's YBC. I'm out.